Okay, today I got in uh, the Reblum security camera system, wireless, uh, solar powered. Just going to do a little unboxing here and see what comes with it. Typical packaging. Good packaging, good box here. Uh, yeah, solar battery, wireless security camera. It's got um, pan 360, so it'll rotate. It's got uh, wireless hassle free. Just hook to your Wi Fi, download an app for your phone. We'll open her up and see what's inside here. Okay. Get her open, get that out of the way. Comes with a nice little sticker for your windows. 24 hour Remblem uh, security. It's got a support website in case you ever need uh, support for the device. Nice manual. Solar battery wireless security camera. Quick start guide. So we'll run through it, get it all hooked up, and uh, see how it works. Solar panel. Cord plug into the camera, mounting. The camera itself, see it can rotate. 360. It's got lights. It's uh, motion activated. In the bottom, little drawer opens up. It can also rotate up and down, you see. So that's very handy. Right in the bottom, there's a port for the uh, micro USB card. It can go to 126 gigs, I believe. It does not come with a card, but you can get them. Uh, they're fairly cheap at any electronic store or a lot of places have the cards. Camera store. It's got the built-in battery. It recharges, obviously, from the panel. These antennas, you can adjust so you get your best uh, reception. got the protective uh, covering on. I like to leave it on until I actually mount it in case I bump it or something. So then you try to take it off obviously to get a nice clear crisp picture. What else we got in here? Mounting bracket. There is um, some templates one for the camera if you want to use it you stick it on where you want to drill or otherwise you just hold it up and mark either way that come in handy and then this just slides on and you got it mounted and the mounting bracket for the solar panel screws on adjustable Mount on whatever angle is best to get the most sunlight. It comes with the screws and fastening devices, depending on what type of surface you're mounting it on. And yeah, this is a cord USB. Undoer. And uh, voila. That's so, uh, also a plug into your computer. So that if you want to download, uh, if you want to review it, like say you want to take out the SD card, you can plug it into a card reader and download it on your computer or wherever. Or you can get it right off the app.
and that's it. So we'll get it hooked up. Got to download the app. Very straightforward. There's the code, activation code. Just scan it. Download the app. Your Android or iPhone. I'm using Android. And then I gotta pick a location to mount it outside and uh, see how it works. And it's got straightforward step by step how to install. It's a very good manual. Just follow it along. Download the app, and it's got every feature that you got, everything you need to know about the device. So we'll take it from there and we'll see how it's going to go. Okay, once you follow through and you download the app, for me, I got to go to the Google Play store and download the um, uh, Cloud Edge. Just download, open it up, and you got to allow uh, a few permissions, obviously, so you can get messages and you can get the video. And once you get registered, just a basic register with your email and a password. Then you get to where you press the power button, the one on the right, depending on how you're holding it. And you get a flashing red light. Then you follow along in the app here. It says hold device power button to start the device. Please stay near your router for best signal. So I'm in the back office. My router is about uh, 40 feet away. Hopefully things will work fine. Please reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds. It even talks to you. Indicator light to flash red. Okay, please reset device. Okay, hold the reset button uh, for four to five seconds. Please refer to the manual for more of this. Uh, wait for a flashing red indicator light. So that's what I got. Flashing red indicator light. Tap next. Select a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and enter your password. Once again, it talks to you. You can read along, but it also talks to you, which is quite handy. And it supports a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. So you select your Wi-Fi. Next. Okay, now we gotta confirm whether the Wi-Fi account and password are correct. I may have to enter my password. We'll see how it goes here. Please remove all film from the lens. Tap next to show a QR code and let your device scan the code. Keep your phone five to eight inches from the lens. There you go. So I gotta get the QR code. And we'll go, I'm gonna take the uh, film off. They want the film off the lens now. So basically you just follow along. And uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, scan QR code below with the device at the distance of five to eight inches. Look at that. Doo -doo. It beeps. Now we're going blue and red. Next. Connecting. Please wait a moment. Connecting. Please wait a moment. So I have an account down from uh, two minutes. So I'll just stop the camera and then restart once we get uh, down. No point watching the account down. Okay, device is connected, lights come on, device is connected, next. Installation guide, please use uh, the power adapter to fully charge camera before using it. The camera only supports a 5V power adapter charging. So I'll charge it up. Okay, the next is to charge it and then locate where you want to mount it, mount it, and then you carry on. 
So I'll charge it first and then we'll carry on with the mounting and uh, and checking out the features, some more of the features. Okay, I just gotta select a location for the camera. I got one right up my main door already and one down a little ways. So I got the front covered pretty well. So I think I'm gonna go around the back and uh, we have quite a bit of wildlife that comes through here. And also there's access points at the back if someone did want to come in and try and steal some stuff. So I think I'm going to mount it uh, somewhere up here where uh, we can get some good sunlight from the south and cover the backyard and cover the back entrance. So we'll get it all charged up, mounted, and then we'll carry on. I think I got a good spot here. I'm going to go underneath the, um, this overhang. Even though it is good for outdoors, it's always good to have a cover over it or a little bit of a roof. So we'll um, hook her up there. And it's going to make sure I have proper clearance for it to mount. Now it's going to work good. We'll just uh, use the template, pre-drill holes, mount it with the screws and just slide her on. Clicks in. So we'll get that mounted up and we'll check her out. We already have some wildlife. Grouse. Eating the berries off the tree. Okay, back to work. We have it mounted good there. I'm going to do the same process for the solar panel up here. Got to keep in mind it is fall here, so when the snow hits, just got to make sure you keep things clear from the snow. Just got to pre drill the hole a little bit more because we're going through metal. I like to test the screws ahead of time. Make sure they're gonna go in. That's good. good. I believe we're good. Put it on the template. Okay, get the camera in place, slide it onto the bracket. First I'll plug it in. Plug it in, turn it on, power button, power button and reset button. One, two, three, four, five. And she is on. Red light. And then I got the um, solar panel mounted. I just try and get the best direction for sunlight. A little cloudy today, but uh, should charge it up. In the Steve. app, in the app itself, there's quite a few settings. You got your alarm management, notifications, motion settings. If it's uh, a lot of motion in the area, you'll get a lot of alerts. Image settings, device share, share it with someone else. You just got to work yourself through it and uh, get used to all the different uh, options. There's a live view of the yard. The yard. You can kind of hear a delay on my voice. Kind of hear a delay on my voice. You can hit record. 
little red flashing if you want to record. Okay, yeah. And then you can hold to talk. You want to say, get out of my yard. Get out of my yard. Comes out of the camera. Comes out of the camera itself. You can scare off people. You can take shots, screenshots, whatever you see. Right now it's on motion detection. Pan, tilt, zoom. It's got the nice little uh, icon here just to press on. You can see it turning the camera. Well, that's pretty cool. You can go down, down to this good looking guy. So that's pretty handy. Yeah, so it's working great. The night vision, it's got uh, infrared. It's got the battery strength, the signal strength. The strength could be a little t uh, better, but I could get a, a Wi-Fi booster or uh, move the camera closer. But for now, that's gonna be awesome. There'll be a link in the, in the um, comments If you want to get one yourself, feel free. If you got any questions about it, just ask in the in the comments there. And I can answer any questions you have. But yeah, it's gonna be an awesome uh, camera. Catch the backyard, catch anyone coming in the back door or trying to, in my shed. And I'll put up another, my sticker on the door. Catch you on the next one. For red. And when it picks up motion, light comes on to illuminate the area. Awesome.